Hi, and welcome to Tea Life with Tiffany. I am your host, Tiffany Denise. Thank you for joining me and my cadre of amazing friends as we sit and sip tea and talk everything from pop culture to tea culture. Tea life is what your life should be. Calm, cool, and collected, just like a cup of tea. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Tea Life with Tiffany. On today's episode, we meet Joshua Boone. Joshua and I are gonna sit, we're gonna have tea, we're gonna talk about his most recent role and his Broadway debut in Holler If You Hear Me. Joshua played the role of Darius, one of many characters that were extrapolated, if you will, from the lyrics of Tupac's music. This play was absolutely wonderful. I got an opportunity to see it on Broadway recently and we are gonna talk about the uh, controversy surrounding the early closing of the show. We're gonna learn about Joshua's acting process, how he uh, became a theater major, and just how he got to Broadway. So stay tuned, you're gonna love this interview. We'll be right back, right after this. All of my boys, do the real from the buses and the decoys. And if you hustle like a real tree, hope your fist if you feel me. How if you hear me? Whatever it takes to live a sin, there's nobody else to give a damn. a young mother to be a cat. We all came from a woman. Hello, and this is Tiffany Denise, and welcome again to another episode of Tea Life with Tiffany. I have the pleasure of interviewing today uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mr. Joshua Boone. Uh, yeah. He Thank is you. one of the lead cast members of the Broadway show, Holla If You Hear Me. Holla if You Hear Me. Welcome. Thanks Joshua. for having me. You know, it's tea. Thanks for being here. It's pound cake. <laughs> You know, I appreciate this. Thank you. For real, it's good too. Thank you. It's a nice way to like, kind of like start your day, and it's a nice way to like in the mid afternoon. Right. You've heard of afternoon tea. Yeah. So we're literally having afternoon tea. Yeah, I love it. I'm having I afternoon love it. tea, yeah, Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um, saw the play. Okay. Last week. Okay. Holler if you hear me. I live here. And me. it was fantastic. Thank you. And I really thought that your portrayal of what was your character's name again? I'm Darius. So sorry. Darius. Yeah, Darius. I thought that you were really, really great. And Thank I you. thought that the I felt that the the tribute to Tupac's music was one of the the greatest musical tributes I've experienced. Did you feel that way when you were doing this? That this is a great way to pay homage? Yeah. Um Yes, and it goes even further than that, you uh -huh. know. You look at, you're like, okay, this is Pac's music on Broadway. You know, uh, one of my producers mentioned to me, you know, you go from um, uh, civil rights to yeah. rap music to Broadway, you know. Right. Uh, there's a lot of things we still face, you know, in our country today um, that Pac wrote about and talked about. Yes. So to have his music, you know, as an accurate representation for today on that stage, you know, there's no, there's no greater thing, you know, to be a part of. I know. It's so beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. I, um, when Tupac transitioned, I was, I'm trying to remember if I was a freshman or mm -hmm. a junior or in college. I can't remember, but I know I was in college mm -hmm. and I know that it impacted my life. Mm -hmm. um, there's only one other person that's impacted it you know, much greater than that in terms of celebrity death as Michael Jackson. Okay, yeah, But so yeah, Tupac, yeah. when he passed, it was like yeah. a void. It yeah. was like we lost something really great. Truth. You know, exactly. Mm -hmm. There's something about that truth. I thought, it was, lose it. I thought it was so ironic that the show was just feet away from where he was gunned down mm -hmm. the last time. The first time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the one, I think it was the fatal one. No, the fatal one was, was in um, Vegas, Las that's Vegas. That's right, it was. Yeah. It was in Vegas on and the then, West Coast. Um, but yeah, he was he was shot, I believe, like five times. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a little little few blocks up from where the actual theater was and everything. Yes. And um, but just the way that guy lived his life, mm -hmm. you know, and the truth he spoke about. Yeah. You know, when of you lose levels. somebody who's yeah who's willing to, to expose that and say that openly, didn't matter, you know, right. who you were. <laughs> exactly. You know, when when that when that's all of a sudden gone, mm -hmm. you know, of course there's gonna be a void. It's you know? a void. Because people people don't know how to do that. Or right. can't handle that responsibility. He that took truth. on that responsibility right. and said, "Hey, and, you know, I'm not going to lie. This is me. This, this is, is me. me. And this the is the truth. The bad and, ugly. and this is the truth about the world we live in, That's the right. country that I live in. You That's know, right. where my people reside. You know. Right. And he was all about uplifting the community. You know, uplifting um, people who he felt, you know, were in the same bonds that he was growing up. Exactly. And um, that's what this show, you know, also represents. You know, it represented." Mm -hmm represents you know those communities right you know so you have those lyrics um their roots are in those communities and 
And what we attempt to do here is, you know, attempted to do on Broadway, you know, while the show was running, mm -hmm. um, was bring light to that. Right. You know, everybody can't handle that, though. I know. Everybody can't handle the truth. Let's talk about can't that. Can't handle the truth. <laughs> sip some tea on that, you, go, you sip know? Sip some tea on mm -hmm. that. So let's talk about not being able to handle the truth. Come on. you brought it up. Come on. So there's some controversy surrounding the play. Um, I, it was scheduled for a longer run, and, it, and the run got kind of it was, uh, it's shortened. A, well, it's an open-ended run, you know, meaning okay. it could run forever, potentially. Okay, I like you that. You know, and... Um, so it's coming back eventually. It, it, it uh, that's not, it can definitely come back. Got it. You know, it just, it's closed right now. Right. But it definitely, you know, it'll be a revival then, you yes. know, whether it's a year from now or right. 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. It can definitely come, excuse me, it can definitely okay. come back. And um, it's, it's just... It's been an interesting, very interesting experience <laughs> because, you know, the truth, like like Saw always said, you know, they call yes. it the great white way, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, that's what we're, that's what we were also Facelift. up against, you know, yeah. there's a, there is. What does that mean for those out there who are, who are listening and wondering well, it's, what you're it's talking just, about? It's just what, you know, um, what was established, what was called, what Broadway was called, yes. you know, um, way back in the day, and this, that's the history of yes. it, essentially. Um, I was taught the specific meaning of it, or I was given a meaning for it while I was in college, but I forgot that. Okay, you know, no I've forgotten that meaning. Um, we'll make sure that we get it. Just, 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 just the, just the name itself, though. Right. You mm -hmm. know, because it was first called that way before, well before the civil rights movement and right. everything. Right. And it's just, um, you know, I don't feel like art should have a tradition necessarily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A history, yes, definitely. Right. Um, but tradition, you know, I feel like art is always, you know, the world is always changing. Yes. And as artists, we should always be changing with the world that we live in. So mm -hmm. there, there's no time to set up a tradition, if that makes any sense. That makes sense to me. And, um, People just wasn't ready for it. Right. Some folks just you know, wasn't ready Because they believe, that, they believe that Broadway should have a tradition. Got Musical it. should have a tradition. It should be right. this way or, or, you know, it can't be this, you yes. know, because it's supposed to be this way. Because it was totally different. I was like, that was so cool, it's just wrong. because it was it was really like hip hop, mm -hmm. and all Pac's music. It, it was, was Pac's every music. song was Pac's music or a poem, and that's been written that's by not him. something that's been done like that. Yeah, no, not and like that. and that's credit to our writer too. A lot of people miss the fact um, that he crafted the story completely around Pac's lyrics and poems. So there were Got there it. were dialogue pieces that people heard that they didn't know were Pac's um, poems mm. and and just to know that yes. you know that was overlooked or missed by yeah. you know critics who in my opinion don't understand the story right who tried to relate but couldn't and didn't want to admit didn't that hey want, I don't understand just relate, say huh? just say I don't understand <laughs> if you don't get it just say I don't get it you know right. maybe it's not for me right. but don't neglect the fact that it is and was the most important piece on Broadway mm -hmm. the most relevant piece of art on Broadway because it spoke the truth about today. Right, right, right. About right, right. these communities out here right all over here. this country and for yes, them to yes, for yes. them to try to say, okay, yeah, no, this isn't it should be to try to put it in a box. What were they what box were they trying to put it in? Because they were trying to they were trying to box it in with past musicals based on okay. um based on what they felt the story was. Got it. Um the story like the was heights about and stuff like that. Well right? yeah, um, more so West Side story yeah. and yeah, even in the heights and just because it used rap as a medium. Mm -hmm. This is a full hip hop musical. It sure was. You know, in the heights it had everything. It incorporated all kinds of music in it. Right. Um this was pure, you know, hip hop. Right. And um right. A, a, a lot a lot they try to put it in that in that box of, you know, musical should be this mm -hmm. or it's the same as this they want to say it's a generic story or to, to say that yeah. to, to say you know uh this is nothing new right you're missing it you're missing it you're missing the fact that mm -hmm. you know these ex-cons who came to the show these homeless kids who came to wow. the show yes. um people were touched and, people's lives and were tears. impacted like you miss you miss that that's, that's it's not just supposed to be ah, entertainment we've right. gotten we've gotten away from um, what theater used to be, you know, it used to be mm -hmm. an education tool. Yes. People would come to the theater to be entertained and to be and informed. And to learn about what's going on. Exactly. That's how they were you taught. Know? Exactly. And uh, I feel like we've stepped far away from that. Got it. Um, but this show, you know, right. we were there. Mm -hmm. So I can say that we brought that back, That's essentially, right. too. That's right. You it's kind of like anytime you're a pioneer in anything, mm -hmm. you got to be willing to take the, take the shots, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, okay. no doubt, Because no they coming. <laughs> 
never give up on a good thing. Wouldn't stop it if you could, it's a hood thing. Oh, and I'm like a major threat, cause I remind you of things you have made you go get. Bring the noise to all of my boys, know the real from the buses and the decoys. And if you hustle like a real beat, fuck your fist, nigga, feel me. Holla if you hear me. I don't know, when I went, I went the day that, the same day that the announcement was made that the show was going to be closed on the following mm-hmm. Sunday, and, you know, we, it was just good, because I, I knew most of the songs, so I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and just the interpretation, mm-hmm. and it was interesting how different characters uh, took on different parts of Pac's persona. I got that. Thank you. <laughs> and you, <laughs> Darius <laughs> Joshua <Bode. laughs> <laughs> you got some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> take, take a bite of that. Up. <laughs> Let me get some of this pound cake real quick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got like some of the the, the um, mischievous dark side. It was of pop. I was. Um, <laughs> How did you feel about that when that was? Were you like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm going all in. Yeah. Was it like, a minute that you needed to like really? Okay. Um, <laughs> you know the character Darius's character like pop. All right, so Pac was an emotional person. Yes. That's part of life. Yeah. I got to say that to set up the fact that <laughs> that his music uh-huh. was an expression of all the emotions he experienced. Mm. That's where the truth I resonates, like you know. Mm-hmm. And um, that's why some artists have a hard time today, you know, um, mm-hmm. being emotional. Mm-hmm. You know, they want to sell a certain product. You know, they want to they wanna be labeled a certain thing. And okay. I feel like it dilutes what hip hop is supposed to be and what Got music it. is supposed to be and Very what art point. is supposed to be. Very and um, but Pac, he wasn't afraid of that. Sure you know, he'll mm-hmm. lash out over here mm-hmm. and then he'll come caress you over here. And then say, dear mama over here. Come on, come on. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and I was more of, as, as far as Pac's emotions right, right, through, because right. the characters were drawn from his lyrics. Exactly. You know, from his music. Mm-hmm. I, w- I, my character, yeah, essentially was the one who yeah. tended to lash out a little more. Uh-huh. In truth, in response to what he felt was a norm or what should be the norm. Yes. You know? Yes, um, yes. And it was cool. I mean, I think he did a great job. Thank and then you. one of my favorite pieces was um, Hail Mary. Come on. That was heavy. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. wow. You see the dancing in there? I swear to God. is sick. <laughs> Sick, you know. I you can't. Sure you're not, you wouldn't see that anywhere else. Yeah, like, it's, like, yeah, oh, it's crazy. That's one of my favorite numbers too. Just the, you know, the the best moments are when we're all on the stage together. You mm-hmm. know, that's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Just to feed off each other's energy and that and that song. You know, as soon as that bell knows at the top, you yeah. know, it's, it's like so. It's just heavy. The song yeah. is heavy. Yeah. And, and yeah, it was such a great, great interpretation. Let's talk about how you got to Broadway. Okay. 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 So you went to Virginia Commonwealth, Commonwealth University, University in Richmond, Virginia. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what was it like when you decided to become a theater major? Was that well, an easy thing? Well, um, excuse me. Uh-huh. Honestly, I didn't come at, because I did theater growing up. Right. You know, from, uh, I started, the first production, I was uh, Davy Crockett in the summer school arts play. Uh-huh. And, um... I didn't know you could garner a response that you know that that was given to me at that production. You know, after yeah. people react to what you're doing on stage, and it's like, oh wow, you know, this it's is cool. Powerful. It was huh. fun, you uh-huh. know. And, it, and I moved around a lot uh, in my youth, and it seemed like wherever, whatever school I ended up, and my um, English teachers or someone would find a way to be like, oh, he needs to do this play or yes. get into this or something artistic. I don't know what they saw or whatever, but I thank God they saw it. Yes. And um, I just started to really develop. This respect for the theater, um, this yeah. this love, and you know, I had fun with it. Mm-hmm. I started writing more, and I was like, yo, I'm, you know, I start, I got away from the house. I'm gonna write and produce and direct. I don't even want to yeah. act. You know, I just yeah. love. I want to do film and TV. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, that's what my focus was. While ah. I was doing high school plays, I was like, yeah, I'm going to LA. Right, you exactly. Know, get, on this, get on this camera, you know, do this film TV <laughs> thing. Right, right, right. And um, I made. I was a pretty good student. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I would say I'm. I made good grades in high school. Got it. The whole good student thing, that's, that's another, you know, because okay. you have to actually do your work to be a good right, student. Right, right, right. Yes. Um, but I was blessed and fortunate to make some some great, some pretty decent grades. So mm-hmm. I had I had a lot of opportunity available for me. Good. And my mother, she wanted mm-hmm. me to take advantage of that opportunity. Right. So for her to hear that her son wants to do theater uh-huh. or go to L.A. and do film and TV far from Virginia, where right, I'm right, from, right. you know, it's like, uh-uh, hold up. Exactly. Press the brakes, you know. <laughs> 
Oh, and uh, yeah, so um, I ended up at VCU as, as like a backup plan kind of thing because I didn't get all the funds that I wanted to to go out to LA. Yes. And um, well, while I was there, I was just like, I was fiending for the stage. I was like, I gotta, I gotta get on the stage. Gotta get on that stage. And um, I, had, I had a friend of mine, Jasmine Coles, you know, she was in the theater program. Mm -hmm. And she, um, I took a class while I was there and she befriended me and, you know, I told her about, you know, the fact that I love theater is what mm -hmm. I want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, she assisted me in um, auditioning for their show there, Smokey Joe's Cafe. It. it was a musical, and I really just started singing uh, a year and a half before, Got as far as you know, my, developing my own voice yes. and you know, in front of people. Mm -hmm. and I grew up in the church, you know, so I did sing in right, church, but right, never right. a solo. Right, right, you know, right. And I was right. always sing this note uh -huh. real loud. You know, that's what it was <laughs> for me. With a group of people. Yeah, but, right. um, and while, while like my mom and them, she, they came up and saw the show. Uh, Smoking Joe's Cafe because I was casting it as a yeah. freshman, which was new for the school yeah. to be a non-theater major because I was a business so major at the time. Definitely on the money. I was, I was, I was, hey, you know, I was right. ready. You know, I just wanted to. That's where I wanted to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, they came up and saw the show. I was like, Mom, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not staying here. I'm right. going to California. I'm right. going to LA. I'm gonna get on this movie, get on this film TV tip. Yeah. And uh, she was like, "Wait, just hold up." You know, she didn't want me to leave Virginia. That was Why? the main thing. She was just stay here. You can, you know, get your degree. You mm -hmm. know, get your degree, and then go anywhere you want. Yeah. You know, it's not that she didn't want me to do theater. She just want, you know, her mm -hmm. love. She wanted me to take. She wanted to make sure. Yeah, make sure I was good. The, yes. law, the lawyer, doctor thing. Exactly. Yeah, all of that. And um, you know, I, of course, I understood that and understand mm -hmm. that. Um, from there, I switched my major got what I felt was a great education yes. in life yes. thanks to the VCU community right. and art thanks to um, VCU arts mm -hmm. and um, from there you know I was like well What's I know next? where I want to be right. you know um, but so did you go to LA or did I you didn't go to, go to LA because while I was at VCU <laughs> my um, my love and respect for the theater grew immensely yes I was like, this is what I want to do. Yes. And it, like to the point where I stopped caring about film and TV. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I can make a lot of money doing theater, that's what mm -hmm. I would do. Yeah. You know, it's not that yeah. much money in, in theater uh, per se, mm -hmm. um, as, a, as opposed to film and TV. Yeah, film and TV. It's just a different um, it's Yeah, a different but I was like, experience. New York is where it's at. I was like, I want, right. Broadway became a goal mm -hmm. in college. Right. So I was like, well, no, 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 I have to, you know, I, I want to get on the Broadway stage. Yes. And um, so I was like, well, New York is where Broadway is. That's right. And they have some film and TV opportunities. So yes. was, and it was close enough to home still. So right. I was like, New York is where I need to be. Yep. And um, <laughs> so I came up maybe five months after I graduated, um, saved up a little money um, mm -hmm. performing at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg during the summer. Yes. And then um, shot up to New York and just hit the ground running. Yeah, you know, it's a I've been here three and a half years, mm -hmm. and I was blessed with the workshop for Holly Fahimi last year. So that was like the Good. two and a half year mark, Good. Uh, pretty much. And I've been very blessed. You know, I've been blessed to you know travel the country and do um, regional mm -hmm. work and just mm -hmm. really you Flex know your just a little bit. You know, just muscles. grow, just That's grow right. a little bit. And um, an and yeah, and then I made my Broadway debut this year. That's Awesome. You know, it's that been a grind. Awesome. It's been fun, though. I've enjoyed the journey. You know, watching you on Broadway, you wouldn't think that that was your first um, Broadway. That was your first Broadway appearance. I so appreciate it. Congratulations. That. Thank you. Thank you. I know you. that there's going to be great things, you know, to come from you on Pretty that so. stage and beyond. Thank you.